Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to today's Gadol story about Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. Rav Mordechai Eliyahu used to wake up his children. Rav Shmuel Eliyahu, of course, is a famous one, chief rabbi of Sfat. And uh, when they were little children, he would wake them up for slichus, which we all know is very early in the morning. So already late at night. He, he would tell them to start getting used to using flashlights. And they would wake up early in the morning, and when they would turn on their little flashlights, and he would say, shh. Why? Because mommy was sleeping. Ima was still sleeping. And even though they were doing a big mitzvah, they have to be sensitive to mom sleeping. And as they were walking, he'd make sure they would close the door very softly and walk down the street very quietly so that no one in the neighborhood would be woken up by their mitzvah. It's uh, obviously the correct thing to do, and yet so often we get so submerged in our mitzvah so we lose the bigger picture. But Ramon Chaleyahu never lost the bigger picture. By the way, I just ran into Ramon Chaleyahu at the Kotel at Nates, and I told him I'm retelling his father's stories. So he was very excited. Anyways, uh, one more story about Rav Eliyahu's sensitivity in simple ways that are so necessary. So he used to give shirim, and there was an organization which would type up the shirim and make books out of it. And at the end of the publishing, Rav Mordechai Eliyahu himself would go and give the money to the printer, to the publisher. And he would say, I'm fulfilling the mitzvah of var of, of, I'm forgetting the words, but the paying back a worker on that very day, which is what the Torah says, that you should pay a worker on that day. Um, or if it's one, on that month, you know, a monthly salary, it's okay to pay them on the month, but it should not be, you shouldn't make a person wait. And once Rav Eliyahu was in Chutz audits and he gave a shear, they translated, they, they, they did what they had to do, and he... Mordechai himself calls up the publisher and says, I'm so sorry, I can't pay you on the day. Are you Mochel? And the publisher said, of course, of course, of course. You'll pay me when you get back. But that was the sensitivity um, to such uh, small little things that Mordechai had, but they're really the big things. Um, And I myself have seen sometimes rabbis not so sensitive to things like that, uh, you know, and of a basic derech eretz, um, of not making people wait, of taking into account the feelings of other people. So may we be blessed to be inspired by Rav Mordechai sensitivity and to be a little bit more sensitive ourselves. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.